Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a Techie Mama Live. We are on YouTube live with this tutorial. Um, today, what I want to go through is how to use Beaver Builder to create a complex layout. So we have this layout here that we've built. And I'm going to go into Beaver Builder and show you how to modify the layout um, and change things up um, so that they match your brand and your ideal um, design. So let's go to Beaver Builder up here at the top, right next to Edit Page. Once we are logged into our um, WordPress site, you'll notice that if it's the first time that you're using Beaver Builder, it will ask you if you want to take a little tutorial. Let's go ahead and do it. So <clears throat> the first thing that shows is um, you can add rows. Um, rows are how all of these are built. You add rows and then you add content into the rows. And you add content. So here are the content options. And then you edit content. So once you highlight over a content area, you'll get um, some thumbnails up here at the top. And you can also just click to edit the content. There's the edit content. You can also duplicate. You can look at the column settings, um, or you can move around or go into the edit settings. If you want to add more content, there's a plus up here. And then once you want to publish your changes, you click on done and then publish. All right, so let's get building. So here we're going to go in and we're going to select this. It is a heading. You can see the name here, Joyce Roberts. So we're going to change that to my name. Um, I'm going to change this byline a little bit. And change that. And click on Save. And that will save all of our changes. If we want to go in and change colors, again, I click on it go into the separator and you can change the color here so you can change the color to whatever color you want you can also save presets there are a few presets here for this theme say we want it to be that beige color or maybe that orange but we want it brighter and more red there we go and you can increase the thickness that kind of looks strange. We can increase the width. And all of this is done on the fly. So you can see the changes happening. Let's say we just want 100%. There's 100%, I guess. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's the end of my name. Oh, let's go back to 10%. Um, you can just scroll through the different options. So maybe we want it at the top, the line separator. And maybe we want an icon. So we can then choose an icon. Icon page comes up nicely, and then you can search. And computer didn't come up but there is a computer so we'll put that in there so then a little computer comes up and that's kind of nice um, so maybe then we'll increase it to let's say 50 percent and guys I'm doing this all on the fly so this is not a gorgeous layout I'm just showing you the capabilities all right, so let's save. And here's our call to action. If we want to change this call to action, we'll click on it. It's a button. So maybe get a free quote or contact me. You can change it as you need to. And then up here, we can do um, business and tech services. Change that up a little bit. All right. So we just changed this up. A lot of different things here. Um, 
other thing I want to show you is if you want to change the background for this area, this is a full row. Since it's at the top of the page, um, we don't get the icons at the top like we normally do. We get it right here at the bottom. So if we click on the row settings, we'll see it's full width. We have a lot of different options here for the uh, colors. And then here is our um, image. So if we remove that, select photo, maybe we want something else. Um, there's not many other good background images, but let's say it's not going to work too well, but eh, it's all right. So there we have that. And then our little profile here, this is actually another image. So if we want to change this to be another person, then we would just go in there and again, move and then select photo and go in and select the correct photo. We're just gonna put her back in. All good. All right, so that's a little preview. Basically all of these little areas are either a header of some sort, um, a text area of some sort. This is also a heading with some text. You have the option here to add just regular text. So if we want to just have regular text here, um, get some more hipsum here, can add that in. Here we also have the option for video and a sidebar and then here HTML or audio. Um, this website has the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder as well installed. So there's a couple more options here. That is where we're getting the heading and the button. And if you purchase the full version of Beaver Builder, you get a lot more modules um, in the standard version. You get buttons and call to actions and a lot more options um, that you can use. But even with the free version, it is very easy to work with, very easy to modify. This is a new thing, this is an info list. So an info list is just a number of different list items. So always on time. And in this we have the title. Um, you can add a link if you like. You can add some description text and you can have an icon or a photo. Um, choose the icon and then the icon color. So that's how this was built. If you wanted to have a link, it would go into like a um, read more or you could do a complete box or on the list title or on an icon um, or on the icon of the item. So um, you could also link this whole thing. I would probably do the whole box just so since there's not an obvious um, place to link. And here we're just doing one list item at a time, but if you wanted to have multiple list items in the same column, you could duplicate and you would get them side by side. So another way to do this whole idea is if we remove this and remove this column is to have it on one big white background and have all three there. So some different options. Here's some testimonials. This has just been built by using text editors and headings. There's some images that are um, the client information. Um, request a quote probably needs a little bit of a form or something, but um, there's our lovely image again and our background image. And there we go. That's how you go in and edit a page. Just go in, click the items, and modify till your heart's content. The last thing I do want to uh, talk about is if you want to edit the column, there are some column settings. You can click on the little column icon and then column settings, and here you can go in and modify the width, um, make sure there's uh, a minimum height you like, 
um, do colors, background. Um, you can choose a background image um, or a gradient. Um, a lot of different options here. So if you're trying to get to that kind of behind the scenes of an item, um, you can always go in and go to column settings and that will get the whole column settings. So for example, here, under the services, if we wanted to do a background of, let's say, that beige color or that gray color, you know, these are gonna look all that great, but there's a gray color. You could do that and um, that would then um, add that gray color to our background. And then if you wanted to play with some padding and so forth, we have the options for that as well. So in this case, we probably need a little bit of padding on both sides and maybe make it a little bit of a rounded corner for it to look kind of a little bit better. Save, and there we go. Got a little bit of a stylized um, gray background on the title. So hopefully this helped out, and um, I encourage you to go buy a full version of Beaver Builder if you like this. It will drastically improve how you create your websites. Um, and make it a whole new deal um, so that you can do these really awesome complex layouts for your landing pages, um, for your funnels, and so forth. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel at, at YouTube Techie Mama and um, watch out for future lives on Facebook and on YouTube. Thanks.